Hello, my name is PhysicsWiz, and today I'm going to show you how to edit a stage in Skullgirls using the tool Skullmod. So, first thing you're going to want to do is get Skullmod, which is available here at github.com slash 0xfail slash Skullmod slash releases. And this is going to be the easiest way to get that, uh, get your releases. Um, I will make this in, available in the description. Uh, to start off, I will say that Skull Mod point zero point seven is the most recent Skull Mod. Personally, I use this one all the way down here. I recommend that you do not use this one because it's probably better to support the best uh, version. But this is the one that I'm most used to and works to, for me. So, what you're going to do? is get skull mod 0.7 uh, you don't have to, didn't have to click on that but click on this and save that to a location that's most convenient to you so after you have saved and extracted that folder locate it so this is where the original skull mod is for me uh, this is skull mod 0.7 and yours is going to look like this so it's got readme's and all the information you would need to use it must have involves clicking and dragging into the uh, batch files. So I'm going to launch up my version of GFS edit, which is this. And so to unpack a file, which is the first step, you have to locate your Skullgirls folder, which is in uh, your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then your Skullgirls file. And then you go to data, 01, and you'll see all of these GFS files. These folders will not be here. They, these are created when you extract, the, uh, when you unpack the GFS files. So to start, I'm going to unpack levels, textures. And so you just drag that there click unpack and this will unpack all these the files within levels textures into a folder under the same name here after this is finished you access the folder navigate it and here you'll find all the textures for the stages in Skullgirls so what we're going to want to do is that at the stage class notes. Uh, one thing to be wary of is that uh, some of the stages have kind of misleading names. So the stage final uh, atrium where you fight Marie is called Falling Wreckage and the stage called Glass Canopy is actually called Atrium. So that might be confusing. So like I was saying earlier open up class notes 3d because that's what we're going to be editing and this is basically what the stage is going to look like minus these two changes which i've already made so this is the backdrop and this is the foreground in addition to the ground so personally i don't think this looks very good at all uh, i'm very critical of my mods so i'm going to just get the this the dropper make sure to edit on a new layer just for the safety purposes. So take this, get that out of here. That doesn't look good at all. Uh, after you've decided on what you want to do, get the right color. It's too yellow. And then carefully make your changes. So that looks, that looks pretty good. Uh, that doesn't look good at all, but we'll, we're going to run with it. So you may have noticed below, I did this change down here. I made this big dumb diamond. And the reason this is, 
uh, which I will demonstrate later, is to show the uh, the uh, kind of bounding boxes that each image is placed in. So the way Skullgirls works is it'll take this texture and then place it on a polygon within the game. And this polygon is usually just about the size of the image or the texture itself and doesn't go much larger than it. So when we start the game this is going to be cut off and this is going to be cut off and this and this. Um, one thing to be wary of, uh, make sure to when you finish editing merge your layers down and save. So when you're saving you want to make sure to go for DXT5 with interpolated alpha not DXT3 with explicit or DXT1 with opaque alpha and make sure because um, these previous DXT ones will uh, artifact your image and DXT1 does not support um, very good alpha and what this means is transparency will not look good or work it in most cases so save in DXT5 and try to compress it in the most high quality uh, image you can as as um, any small error will be very noticeable in game oh, that's not what I want to do so after you've made your decisions press OK press OK and save it. After this you're going to want to open up GFS edit again or skull mod and look for the pack function. So we need to pack the folder we recently unpacked which is levels textures. So we're going to select the directory uh, this is the same data 01 um, where we got the folder originally so find levels textures open and then click pack. This will usually take the longest out of packing and unpacking but basically what this will do is that it will make the folder that we just opened back into a GFS for Skullgirls to use. If you do not pack then it will not work. Also make sure that you have Skullgirls closed while you're doing all this otherwise packing and unpacking will not work. So open Skullgirls Uh, look at all the nice loading screens. Uh, I do love Otter UI and GGPO. Uh, ignore that. Go to training mode, training room, training mode. Select your character. And then go to your stage that you've edited. You'll notice over here that what I uh, said earlier is that the uh, texture went off of the polygon and it no longer uh, is displayed on the image. So make sure that when you are editing a certain part of the stage and working with that, that you are keeping within the bounds that the game has already set. Uh, this is the most important part right here. This is the mod that we've made. You'll notice here at the bottom that uh, the triangle from earlier overlapped into this one's boxes and is visible. Uh, basically that's how you make a mod. Um, there are other abilities that are open to you for modding Skullgirls. Uh, for example, uh, you can change the lighting of a stage and make it brighter or darker with different colors. Uh, you can change the animations of characters such as this, like Mix Victoria. Um, it's not easy. It's in, a, in essence, it's exactly the same as what I just did. Um, however, 
it requires changing up from 4 to 7 to almost 10 different images uh, to do that. In the future, ZeroXFail, uh, the creator of SkullMod, uh, has been working on the ability to uh, create plugins that function with uh, Blender, a 3D editing modeling program. And so using that, you will be able to eventually, hopefully eventually, uh, change the geometry and create your own models for stages, uh, which will make it very interesting as you would be able to change the way, uh, change the mod, or mod the stage in any way that you see fit. And all uh, that was mostly it. If there are any questions or anything you'd like to know about, please consult uh, comments, or I would also suggest reading Flotilla's guide on the Steam community, which I will link, link in the description with uh, the other information that is required. Uh, so thank you for watching.